I started this channel after decades of working for state government throughout the United States, working for post-secondary education, the Department of Labor and Industry, as well as veteran services as either an employment representative or case manager. I became more passionate about supporting displaced workers, the disadvantaged and the disabled, and veterans like myself than a typical nine to five would allow. I found myself frustrated with the less than empathetic support I was providing, which bureaucracy created. The tipping point for me was when a local newspaper gave me heads up, I was an employment rep, that a help wanted advertisement was going to be placed in a Sunday paper. It was Friday. The local Has it really been that long? The classifieds were print job listings where people without computers relied to look for a job. The Sunday paper always had the most to start the work week. Yeesh. Local military base was hiring 25 warehouse workers. Highly coveted positions are warehouse workers and they're seen as an opportunity for many to get their foot in the door or a second chance for a person with a less than perfect work history. The ad informed applications were being taken online as well as the work center for which I was assigned. When I came into work that day, 50 or more people were lined up before our doors opened. As a veterans representative under Title 38 funding, I couldn't work with anyone but veterans and those veterans were to have preference in service. So what did I do? I took those five veterans, yes, there was only five, for 15 computers, which worked out great. But of those five veterans, none of them had any familiarity with using a computer to apply for a job online, and neither did I. While I had computer expertise, I had never myself applied for a federal job. Up until that point, my work with veterans consisted of a one hour appointment at an office created by partitions. In that space, I was to have identified problems and solved them and made veterans job ready. But the reality was these veterans needed more than problem solving. They needed someone to listen to them. Don't get me wrong. Some more than others desperately needed a job. But I knew if I didn't take the time to listen to their need, to be heard and respected, job ready they would not be. First fact, I learned that what we all have in common, well, I'll save that for the end. It's critical. Do you know what it is? After the major fail of the warehouse opening listing and multiple stumbles attempting to meet the truest needs of the veterans, I created the first Veterans Walk-In Center where not only were there no appointments or time constraints, but there was no need to speak softly behind the partition barriers about the realities of transitioning from military or from a shelter or the closure of a reliable 15 year old job. I found a room that had not been used. And when the partitions fell, that room opened up and we found multiple computers to use. I came from behind my desk to look at a clock filled with hours of time to freely help soldiers put their boots back on and help one another again. Some help with computer skills, other help with work histories, some with job searches, and all helped with a listening ear. And I loved my work, helping clients identify and obtain their goal. The number one goal, number one, was to get their foot in the door with the federal government. Here, we will do the same, all of us veterans, civilians, the disabled, newly graduated students, and those looking to change their career. This is where I learned first fact. The first fact I'm sharing with you, we all have a social security number and it doesn't matter what your race is, the veteran status or work history, it's not gonna change. This may be your first video that you're watching. Hi, or the video meets your curiosity about what's her angle. I don't have one. I'm looking to build a community where everyone gets an opportunity, the one that I have and the one that I had in the participating and witnessing as I learned. After I began my career with the federal government in a completely different field that I had no experience, I didn't stop working in my passion. I cranked it up, put my boots back on, and I found a way to start giving my uh, workshops with the Department of Labor for whom I had been working. I started giving them to organizations, and community service groups, and I utilize my experience to work with other participants with barriers far more than I. Veterans received their opportunity to put their boots back on for their second career working for civil service, and I was a part of that. Veterans who got their second chance to serve their country and civilians for the first time. Whether it be working in a warehouse or in management position, a bartender, 
or a new career, like me. Without fail, after every workshop, I would not only be commended for my effort then and now, I would be asked to provide personal assistance to participants like you. But there was never enough time, just like before, to meet a person's actual one-on-one -on -one needs with passion. So here we are, another platform, greater, hopefully collectively changing the lives of those, those with whom we'll work together. I'm bringing all these facts and hacks and other experiences to civilians and veterans here because for the first and most critical fact that we all have in common is our social security number. There it is, surprise. We are born and we will die with it. And that associates everyone and everything with what we'll do here. This video is my first and likely not the best of quality and I'm gonna probably make all kinds of bundles. It's gonna take time to learn this, but the content of each video is meant to inspire, educate, and provide you with the tools you need for your success, be it with the federal government or a job, any job you're applying for. My logo represents the era of the army that I proudly served and the field of work which I currently do and the need to put your boots on and get deep about this and the financial stability that I've been able to acquire that's changed my life and can yours too. I'm going to share with you how I accomplished all those things just by working for the federal government. So put your boots on, subscribe, hit like, all those things, and I'll see you on the journey. Thank you.